Hi, I'm Avi. And I'm B. Join us in our explorations of the central coast of California. And our adventures beyond. Hi, everyone. We're here at the San Francisco Botanical Gardens. We came out here for the Flower Piano Festival. When they set up a um, bunch of baby grand and grand pianos in various locations throughout the gardens. And they have professional musicians and they have them open for just amateurs to play as well. Yeah, you can walk around and explore the natural flora and at the same time stumble upon a beautiful performance on a, an interesting piano in a diverse location. Yeah, so far we've seen some really pretty locations and some really good performances. So come along and check it out with us. The Flower Piano Festival began after prominent Bay Area artist Mauro Fortissimo took it upon himself to place an old grand piano on the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean in the small town of Half Moon Bay, just south of the city. Word spread online, and it wasn't long before hundreds of people were gathering to hear his sunset concerts. Impression so far, uh, it's super peaceful. I hear the strains of piano notes float through the air. Uh, hear another piano somewhere over there. All right. The large crowds quickly prompted the county to order the piano's removal. Soon after, Fortissimo helped found the Sunset Piano Project, which works to bring live piano music to the streets and public spaces of San Francisco. This event at the Botanical Gardens in Golden Gate Park is the project's largest yearly undertaking, its goal being to encourage communal interaction with music and the arts. fun and family-friendly atmosphere. Bring a picnic lunch and a blanket or a lawn chair and stay all day, wandering through the gardens, seeking out the 12 different pianos. Pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, it's relaxing. Yeah. Feels a little weird to vlog in it though because you don't want to talk loud or break the atmosphere. Right, but they are in a public space. Yeah, but people come here for the music, so right. it's good to pay respect. Well we respect that. But
That was the carousel uh, waltz from By Roger and Hammerstein. And the best piano player. <laughs> the sword will emerge when he's done. This is pretty. Yeah, it is. There's lots of really cool and interesting plants throughout this whole place. Yeah, they've got uh, signposts for plants from around the world, right? Yeah. San Francisco Flower Piano Festival. What did you think of it, Avi? It was cool, you know, I enjoyed walking around with the natural flora and, you know, it was kind of exotic and you could check out stuff from around the world. And the music was all right. We went on Friday. Saturday and Sunday are the bigger days with more scheduled performances of professional musicians throughout the day. I still thought it was really cool. It was cute to see some kids playing the piano here That's and there. True. listen to live music, especially live piano music, while walking around yeah. through all the exotic plants. And, and some of the performers were quite excellent. There were some really good ones. Very romantic setting. It was a nice marriage of good music and a great setting, in my opinion. Yeah, so. I really enjoyed it. For only 10 bucks a person. If you're a city resident, it's free. It's reasonably priced, and it all goes to good causes. Funny. Supporting music in the garden is always a good thing. You know, I'd recommend it coming any day. I really enjoyed it, yeah. I'd do it again. I'd go next week. Me too. So uh, let us know what you think, if you've been there before, and uh, if you've even performed there. Let us know uh, what you think in the comments. What's your favorite thing to do in Golden Gate Park? There's so much to do there. We're from Santa Cruz, so we would love to know an insider tip or two as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Bye! So this is the bridge where this happens.